Whiskey in the Jar. Nice song, repeats itself over and over again. Should be a pretty short lesson. Let's go with the C first. Let's show you what the C is. Go your standard open C. And let's just have a look at this little rhythm they've got happening. Very easy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Even slower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And every chord. There's a C, okay? Now, the next one is A minor. Okay, go from the A string down. Here's an F bar, okay? Now, for those unfamiliar with the F bar, everybody has a shits with it when it's done. They first start out. And I'll say it again. If you're just starting out and you're having trouble making this bar chord because of this finger here, uh, try it two frets up. That makes actually it's a G chord, right? But it's just easier to, to get the notes to ring out as you go up the fret. And that's actually an A here. That's a G. Okay. Just to show you, just to get your fingers used to okay, where they belong, and the F, you'll start to develop your motor skills up here, and then you can transfer that to down to. Okay. So, yeah, for those who aren't familiar with the, with the standard bar chords, okay, uh, fingers three and four on the A and the D string on the third fret, and second finger on the G string, second fret, and your first finger has got to lay across like a vice, like a bar, going across the first fret. Okay, that's what makes your F, All right? This is actually an F note when you when you press down that. We don't do too much theory here, so I don't want to give you too much information and try to saturate your brain. All right. So anyway, here's F. That's all we're F and, uh, and G, G. And I use a standard. This is a G that I just like to use. And there's reasons for it, not in this song, but there are reasons for it. I like to have these fingers for other songs. Okay, so these fingers three and four on high and low E string in the third fret. And uh, very nice chord position, not, not difficult at all. Uh, C, A minor, F, and the C, G. I'll do it over and over because that's what the song does. Okay? Only if there's a shorter space between the C and the G. Uh, in, in, here, try it again. C, A minor, F, and the C, and G. Again, C, and A minor, F stand and deliver, and the C, and the G. And after every verse, we stay in the G. Musha ring dum 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 da. Right, just stay on that G at the end of every verse. Very simple. This is going to be a short lesson. I'll just give you 90% of it just now. Here's the chorus. C right for my daddy O. F my daddy O. The C G C. Look at that chorus again. C right for my daddy O. C, G, C. So if you're brand new and you're learning, just learning these chords now, this is nice to learn how to change from C to G. C, G, C. And pick it up in a couple extra chords as well. So let's uh, look one more. Verse, chorus, and we'll be out of this song, okay? Because it's just really, really easy. As C go over A minor mountains C, what for F, 
there for that chorus it was the actual last chorus in the song because they double up on it okay so um have fun with that that's whiskey in a jar it's really basic it repeats itself so nothing no surprises in that you just learn those choruses and again it's just so nice easy rhythm so easy song to know everybody will know it as well cheers <laughs>